Hello, Colors. Welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to another interesting episode where we discuss on some interesting updates. We start with this report claiming that Barcelona finished the summer transfer window as the second lowest spenders in La Liga. We are going to discuss on that as we progress. Secondly, talking about this report claiming that Barca contemplated a very late swoop for this 12 million rated Ligue 1 midfielder. We are also going to be discussing more on that. So guys, as we get right into it in much detail, please do ensure to subscribe. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Barcelona, a club renowned for its rich history and tradition, has embarked on a new era marked by shrewd financial decisions and strategic player acquisitions. Why the Catalan Giants have consistently infused your squad with exceptional talents? A closer look at the financial statistics reveals the remarkable fact that they are one of the most cost-effective teams in L Spain. In fact, they are the team with the second lowest spending on players in La Liga in recent concluded transfer window. In a display of financial acumen, FC Barca have adeptly navigated the complex world of player recruitment, managing to secure the services of top-tier footballers such as Ilkay Gondogan, Inigo Martinez, Joao Cancelo and Joao Felix without incurring any transfer fees. This remarkable feat is a testament to the club's ability to attract world-class talents while minimizing expenditure. The only discernible expense on the books is the modest 3.4 million euro associated with Oreo Romeo's acquisition. Let's take a detailed look. Remarkably, only Athletic Club Bibaho a club that has not spent a single penny this summer, have managed to remain a spending record better than Barcelona's. Las Palmas occupy the third spot with a relatively modest outlay of 4.8 million euros, enforcing the notion that fiscal responsibility is gaining prominence in the competitive landscape of Spanish football. Let's look at the ranks. Real Madrid, I mean, Real Madrid are the first, Almeria are the second highest spenders, Atletico Madrid are the third, Sevilla fourth, Celta Vigo fifth, Mallorca sixth, Girona seventh, Sociedad eight, Vallecano nine, Granada ten, Villarreal eleven. Getafe 12, Valencia 13, Real Betis 14, Deportivo Alaves 15, Osasuna 16, Cadiz 17, Las Palmas 18, Barca 19, and Bibajo 20 in terms of spending. So in stark contrast to this, we see Real Madrid stand atop the expenditure rankings with a staggering outlay of nearly 130 million euros you know the acquisition the acquisition of players like Jude Bellingham, Hosalo, Fran Garcia has propelled Real Madrid to the summit of the spending chart. Almeria and Atletico Madrid trail closely behind Real Madrid in terms of financial commitment with expenditures of 38 and 33.7 million respectively on top of spending the second least money on players Barca are also second in the list of the La Liga clubs to have generated the most income from departures of 105.4 million with only Villarreal doing better than them it means that Barca finished the window with a net positive balance 
of over 100 million euros throughout the transfer window it was made evident that barcelona were putting extra efforts into signing the target while the likes of gundogan and martinez were simple acquisitions the likes of joao felix and joao cancelo were not the team was largely expected to pay some of the two players but the Barca board devised a strategic approach, a loan option with which they were able to reach an agreement with Atletico Madrid and Man City. Then moving on to the next story of discussion. The transfer deadline day was no shot of action for Barca as they made several incoming and outgoing deals on Friday. The headlines were obviously grabbed by the marquee arrivals of Joao Felix and Joao Cancelo, both joining on season-long loan deals from Atletico Madrid and City, respectively. It must be remembered that manager Xavi Hernandez also sought the signing of a new midfielder apart from a right-back and a forward, and even though nobody arrived, it appears that the Catalans did consider a move for one. Indeed, as were Santi Ovale of Foot Mercato, Barca gave a thought about making a move for this Marcel and Morocco midfielder as a day Unani. Of course, late in the window, Unahi is no stranger to Barca with the midfielder. Market value stands at 12 million euros, having been linked with the Catalans back in December after his exploits in the FIFA World Cup in Qatar. At the time, Unai was at Ager, but with Barca deciding not to pursue him, the 23-year-old signed for Marcel towards the end of the winter window. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.